Why? The guy has no, like, right playing me. He's, like, nowhere near my skill level. What the hell? First, I 10 owed him, like, off stream. And then he was like, let's play on stream. And I was like, okay. So I 10 owed him again. And then he left right after. It's in his favor. If you were to put the tally marks onto paper, Bronson is ahead. <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel so gross. Like, I'm being humble about it. I'm being honest. But then when he starts playing offline, He's in a whole lower, lower, lower class. It's like the Titanic, you know? He's just like Leonardo DiCaprio where I'm one of the rich people up top. So this is the thing with Bronson. If he knows he's gonna lose, he's gonna start talking to you. Wait, he died too. Leonardo died. <laughs> and then Avery, I don't know what the f he's doing. Like he's, he's owning these SoCal people online because they suck one and two, He's like the king of the sun. You got like this group of like idiots with like Suikin, Aris, and Rip, and MYK people. But they, they're not good at Tekken either, you know? Like they, they don't know how to play. NorCal's just better than SoCal. Yeah, no, SoCal. Let's go NorCal. Uh, with the baby and all the going on, and you know, honestly, I thought about it even without the baby. I wouldn't have played Avery anyways just to save him from the embarrassment that would have happened and transpired. Okay, so Bronson's dropped out. He's a father now. He's retired, officially. Some of you guys have watched me play Avery online you know, last couple of weeks where I just totally destroyed him. We played a few times on my stream. I wasn't even really paying attention when I was playing him and he had coaching from Speed Kicks, who was a genius apparently, and he still couldn't beat me. If you guys want to see the score between me and Bronson, you can uh, check it out over there in the VODs or see the clips he's posted. KO. What? No, no, no. Anything Bronson has to say about numbers and first to whatevers, it's all false. And did he win 16 in a row against me? I have no idea. I cannot remember that. I, I highly doubt that happened. You gotta check the VODs. Those vibes might be deleted. He doesn't deserve to play me, especially on a stage such as an exhibition of Tekken, uh, brought to you by 10 -0. There's no way. And uh, this this man that is gonna play at Runner Black is one of my closest friends. And he actually taught me Tekken, right? So we have 725 of Kwanba versus Run It Black. Give Avery at least a 1% chance of winning this exhibition. Uh, because if I would have played, it would have been a 0% of him winning any games at all. But uh, I appreciate you guys reaching out to me. I appreciate you guys supporting me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the future sometime. Peace. <laughs> oh man, dude. I'm so tired. There you have it. Welcome back to the Tekken Online Challenge. I'm Rip, joined by Mark Man. And our next match coming your way is 725 versus Run It Black. And Bronson's so good at talking smack. I don't know <laughs> if he was planning on talking smack or it just comes out naturally. He is so good at just. I don't think he's ever not talking smack, you know? He throws you <laughs> off because he's being genuine. It's like, what the hell? Did you mean that? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, of course. So you guys just saw a bunch of cool, aside from that odd interview, you guys saw a bunch of cool trailers <laughs> from the team over at Bandit and Aqua Entertainment, all this cool stuff that is out now. But of course, on the horizon as well, uh, I'm looking forward to Captain Tsubasa. I can't wait to play with my friends online. But man, that interview, mm -hmm. it, um, I kind of wish Bronson was playing. I kind of wish he was playing, but unfortunately, he's not able to be here, but I'm sure he will be here in spirit or in the chat. Yeah, I wish that we could actually just see that matchup anyway, because I feel like running back and beat him is for real. You think so? I think so. Why not? He's younger, at least by a little bit. Bronson looks well, like he's been through hell. You know, <laughs> I've never had a baby, so I don't know what it's like, Mark, but it seems like it takes a toll on your body from what I've seen from Bronson. Maybe, but you know, the one thing that would give him the advantage in the matchup? Probably an Astro headset. Because Astro Gaming, of course, back for another year, supporting the Tekken Online Challenge as the official headset and the mix amp. So, of course, this year, Astro Gaming will be providing for the open event tournaments, prizes for our champions. And, of course, for uh, 
with with their, their separate products and of course custom merchandise as well. So again, big shout outs to Astro Gaming for again supporting the fighting game community. Very proud to be part of the Astro family. But man, I'm still shocked at Bronson chickening out. But you know, he sent in uh, he sent in a homie. He sent in somebody that is going to be providing us some entertainment with a good match. And I do believe in 725. Uh, I talked about him earlier. He's been a longtime Tekken player. I remember him from back in the Tekken Tag 1 days where, you know, he was he was a top player for the longest time. He's able to beat so many of these great players uh, leading into this, even not just on the local level, not just on the national level, but even on the international level. Right. So we did have a uh, little five card to see for, between these two players. Let's take a look at it. Young Run It Black. He is one of the best gym players oh. around here. Oh, oh Run It Black! Two takes it! What a set! Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Bronson is throwing out all kinds of moves that people probably never see with Claudio. Oh, 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 what did he say? Did he say easy? Round one. Fight. KO. KO. Perfect. There's no way. No way Run It Black's name should be anywhere near my name in any form. You lose. Okay, so Bronson dropped out. New challenger. Oh, yeah, the I... beat down. Okay. He Forget Tom. <laughs> He's not about them. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, wow. Did you see? That was unbelievable. Seven two five, and here's the thing: seven to five. You know, this is supposed to be some kind of a NorCal SoCal matchup, right? But the thing is, everybody likes seven to five. Nobody likes running black. So you know, it's really not a region battle. It's, so what kind of battle is it then, Rip? What are you trying to say here? It's like a battle between good and evil. You know, <laughs> I think everyone is rooting for the good side. Who's who in the chat is rooting for running black? The right NorCal now? always gets the good ones. Is that true? No, we had Sukin last time. Well, that's true. I, I mean, I guess. But either way, this should be an interesting matchup. You know, let's let's talk about the characters. What do you think we're going to see? Uh, hmm. Obviously, Run Black has been messing around with other characters. You know, he's been using Leroy. He uses Jin. Traditionally, Jin is his main character. But 725, I don't think he has another character other than Steve Fox. I think he actually has been messing with another character. Oh, really? I think 725 has. I don't know if Run Black knows about it. Uh, I know about it. It's a character that I've been playing a lot of as well. We'll see if, uh, you know, that's what he's going to do. But uh, before we get there, you know, let's hear from these players themselves. Let's get ready to rumble here, 725. Yeah, so I'm playing Andy now. 725 is the secret boss of uh, Adark. Well, I usually beat him offline, like, pretty badly. I'm probably going to probably gonna whoop Andy. You know how Bronson was going to be like a close fight, maybe? Andy's going gonna, gonna to be a blow up. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but online, I think he has the edge. I mean, he's won or placed in those Geico tournaments, the Bud Light tournaments. I, I'm the day I have to prep to fight seven two five is the day I should stop playing Titan Seven. Okay, let's let's be real. Okay, Andy is hella good, but I'm also hella bad. Actually, I think he's better than me, but I don't know why he loses to me. <laughs> I kind of feel like that about a lot of people. So we have hella good versus hella bad. The hella bad player is going to win. Like they're better with execution, combos, knowing like the stage environment. I'm not really sure why I win against a lot of people. So there's no reason for me to prep. Because if I were to prep, that would make me like only bad. I don't know why, but... I've noticed sometimes he'll do like strings that are like canned strings and you know there's a low in them. And being bad for someone that's hella good is hella not good. <laughs> but he just does it anyways. I don't know if he's trying to troll or he just thinks like uh, it's a like last ditch desperation effort or something. I think it's pretty even maybe, m maybe more so in my favor, but I I'll go with even. We've only played each other offline and outside of tournament. We've never had the chance to fight each other within tournament, I think. Um, but I won most of those matches. The last time I played Andy was at uh, Bronson's house for NorCal Strong Style. Or no, sorry, uh, NorCal Regionals, actually. And then I fought Andy a few times online. I ran into him. 
he was playing like I think Josie or something like that, and I, you know, I, I had the best of him. Dude, Andy's old, man. He can't break throws. <laughs> Andy's gonna kill me, man. <laughs> seven two, run right away. Four seven. See, you know, you have like Ramp and Sukin. You know, they're always barking, roof, 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 talking about SoCal being better than NorCal. Oh well, at the last Evo, I don't think any of them placed really high. Man, let me tell you, Rep and Sukin, those two are idiots, all right? If you try and name, like, the top five SoCal players, I mean, who they got? Andy's pretty good, though. He beat Kudons. He got ninth at Evo, just like me. You know, ninth place, boys. I mean, ours are pretty easy at name. They look up to, like, NorCal for some reason and, like, these giant saints. You know, it's really just Jimmy and Bronson, you know? They achieved higher results than SoCal too, so I think that really speaks for itself. Yeah. SoCal sucks, man. That's why they, they SoCal likes to claim me when I'm doing great, because I don't give a complete <laughs> about them, okay? They could really, you know, go over there, you know, over by the gutter. I'm just chilling, you know? So NorCal all the way. I'm playing for SDT, all right? I work for Markman. I have chat. such a big smile on my face, man. He works for you? I can't. <laughs> see, see, the thing is now, I can't even cheer against him now. I feel like, oh, man, I got to back. I got to put my money up for a run in black. He, I played into his trap card there. I can't <laughs> believe that. I'd never seen that interview till now. Neither have I. Dude, that's fantastic. I, I feel like I came out a winner out of that interview. You know what I mean? And you hella came out a loser out of that interview. Run it black is going to win 7-2. I can't wait to see this. Andy's an old friend of oh, mine, but man. I'm sorry, Andy. Uh, I'm sorry, Andy. It's 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 not for you. And by the yeah. way, he called you an idiot, Rip. I know. That's why I feel so good about it. <laughs> like like you know, if somebody's saying like you know, if you're really dumb and somebody's like smarter, then that's like not dumb. If you're dumb, you know what I mean? Yeah, that guy's an idiot. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, you guys are tuning in. This is the Tekken Online Challenge. This is going to be the final match of the day. My name is Mark Madden here with Rip, and we are going to be your host here and let you in on the action. It's going to be fun stuff. I hope the players are ready because I know the chat is ready. But let's see what everyone is predicting as we went into this. What did the crowd say? Because, you know, right now the crowd is two for two. Mm -hmm. But look at here. Oh, damn. What wow. does the poll say? Oh, my gosh. 69%. I'm going to round it up even though it's not the proper roundup. 69% <laughs> of you want to see 7-2-5 win this matchup. And, of course, you guys are all wrong because... My guy's going to win. Run it black. Your guy's going to win. You're on the side of evil right now. Production's against me, I'm telling you. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, but the matchup is going to be coming up. I think Andy said it was going to be four to seven. Does that mean he's going to lose? What is yeah, he wasn't. He didn't specify. <laughs> he said four usually it'd be like seven four, right? Yeah. Who says four seven? I yeah. think they both said that Run It Black's going to win. Andy said it's going to be. He's going to get four games. Run It Black said Andy's only going to get two games. Oh, Either man. way, if, if, let's say it's going to be that. I mean, Andy picked that he was going to lose. Uh, Run of Black picked he was going to win. Looks like my guy's going to win. Yeah, I guess your guy might. And, you know, this is a different set than the last ones we've had early today. This one is a first to seven, of course, as you heard from the scores predicted there. Not first to fives like we had earlier. So it's a little bit of a longer set. You know, and with these players in a longer set, I don't really know who's that favorites. I can tell you, I've played Andy in a long set. He's pretty good in a long set. He knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, sometimes, I mean, it's the old band reflex. Sometimes it takes a while to be able to like, oh, that's what the kids are doing nowadays, or that's the new stuff. I got to adjust to it. And mm -hmm. the thing is, his play style, uh, I don't know if you're going to, you want to call it weird, but it's unorthodox. Sometimes he will opt not good to go for a combo, um, but sometimes he'll opt for certain crazy things, like he's going to throw out a power crush in this instance. Stuff like it that. Could be. Yeah, he uses the power crush a lot when he's using Steve Fox. But look at this. Run it black going with Fakamram. Oh, man. Versus 725's Steve Oh, Fox. man. All right. Well, Game on. at least from the discussions that we've been seeing from a lot of people, a lot of people say that Steve is actually pretty strong against Fakamram because he does have the tools to put a stop to that offense, put a stop to a lot of the moves with the big windup. Uh, there is that key move well, with Steve Fox with the counter hit back one. But let's see if that comes into play. And they're yeah. starting it off. Run it black with the early hit to the leg. And you know, yesterday, Run it black opted not to use Fox Bomb. He lost in the tournament. And he got seventh place, I believe, in the open tournament that we had. 
but he came out in the chat and he said like, I'm an idiot, I should've used Fakumra. And here he is in the set, starting off with Fakumra. Yep, he kicks into the base, gets the back four two at the wall here, and Red and Black looking really strong from the outset, looking to get the power crush, and ends the first round with a victory. Oh, where, yeah, where, where you at, NorCal? Exactly, NorCal versus SDT. See how I left SoCal out of this? <laughs> yeah, you're protecting yourself, I like it. Oh, easily. <laughs> he he landed the whole flicker one string, what happened there? <laughs> Oh man, and he's special, man. Right, he's just outside five. of range. There's the one we talked about, the power crush. Ooh, easy. The box, baby. The box. Wow, that was crazy. Was so we're going to see a lot more of that rounds. in the set, guaranteed. It's going to be a massive class. I mean, he, he makes use of all the stats. You're going to see Peekaboo, you're going to see Flicker. There's going to be a lot of mix ups that we probably don't normally see from Steve Play. Nice. Again. Oh, he knew there was an interrupt. 15 frames in your face in between. That was perfect. Yeah. And he's going to get the wall. Hey. Look at that damage. damage, dude. But not phasing Andy at all. Oh, my gosh. That was a big opportunity for a launch. Not able to get anything. Wow, throws him back. And a down back four is going to get him the round. And then he's going to be powering up every single round. He's going to go for that pop-up again. Going for the power crush. Just that beat down punch. Flicker back too. Punish. Red and Black looking really good. Making great use of that 3 plus 4. Here we go. The Albatross. He ain't ready for the... Oh my gosh. That was the bomb. That was the bomb we were talking about earlier. That back one counter hit. Double rage, both in rage. What's going to happen? Like that rage drive. The drive! Of course he's going to answer back with a rage drive. Red and Black getting the first game. Yeah, he and wasn't the key ready charge, too. Yeah, he's powering up, taunting, and now the key chart to close it on the first game. It's feeling good, feeling confident. So it's 1 0 now. And you know, that was a lot closer than I thought it would be from the outset. Uh, obviously, both players still trying to get a feel for the matchup. And this is a long set. Again, seven wins to the victor to decide who is going to be our champion for tonight. Um, what do you think from what we saw so far? Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to have another blow up, another seven, uh, you know, another zero on the scoreboard. That's what I'm really wondering. Here. It's either seven, two or seven, four, right? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be seven, four, seven, two. It might be seven, zero the way this is starting. I don't know. He got a few rounds here and there. He got some key moments here with, uh, I mean, first and foremost, he has the, he has the cosign from Bronson Tran. Bronson Tran said it was a 0% chance for Run Black to win if he played. But now that 725 is playing, he has a one percent chance to win. Oh, okay. So he's got he's got he's got a big one percent. It looks like you know, a really <laughs> is that a really big one percent or a small one percent. Which one oh, is it? Man. I mean, we talk about running back. It's usually small, but this percent is pretty big. I think it's a big ass one percent. Uh, 75. You know, once he got a change in this matchup, I mean, I think exactly he played pretty decently. Just uh, he got he got Fakum wrong, man. Oh, you know, I think uh, the spacing and just, you know, the natural uh, play style for Red and Black, he tried to stay out of certain ranges. Obviously, he got clipped here and there. He got hit by one big counter hit back one. But I feel like the more you get used to the rhythm, it's going to help out in the long run. So I think maybe Red and Black will start running away in maybe the second or third match. But now this being the second match, I don't know how it works for Andy. It's been a while since I've seen Andy play competitively. But eventually, he's going to change how he plays as well. Eventually. Round one. Let's see that old engine. Fight. <laughs> Fired up. Oh, oh. Just, he was so ready for that. He just does it all day long. <laughs> it's his main tool. Wow, the nice out the back one. Nice, he goes for the up one, one. Tries to get out of the wall. He went for a power crush again there, but yeah. stuffed him. He had to start up there. Not in time. Right, just patience and whip on Power oh crush. Oh. All day. He landed that twice already in the opening round. So he's fighting. Starting to find that rhythm where he can actually use that uh, tactic in the matchup. Yeah, look at this clean back oh. Black, yeah, oh, look at that, that clean, clean launcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Damn, but as soon as you compliment him, uh, it makes you look bad. <laughs> He's back dashing into the wall. What's he doing? Nice. Oh, he tried to go for the whip punish. You're unable to get it here. And there's the option from Andy goes for the low. Nice, he's looking really good here in uh, match number two so far. What was the punish there? 10 count throw, good night. Good night, running black. Two rounds now for 725. 725 looking to tie it up here. He was just warming up for his game. Warming up what though? Warming up his ass beat, he's about to get running black. Oh no, not like this. I mean, 
I didn't even know he worked for me. I don't want to fire him on the same day. <laughs> oh, here we go. Back one. Ghost Grid. Unable to get it. The mixes are starting to come out. Albatross. The Albatross is a bait. He's going to sometimes throw out that Albatross and then go straight into Flicker back. you got to be careful. Damn. <laughs> Oh, he got him. This is big. It's going to do a ton of damage. Is he going to go downstairs? Will he have the ability to? Oh my to? god. He drive two. Look at the damage! Ouch! What that a was comeback. Fair. Yeah, it was definitely oh, yeah. fair. I mean, you it's a wall combo. You guess wrong in the wall and you're done. It was like five more combos. Boom! Oh, how did it miss? Did you set up for this? Or that? Good old US of A. Uh -oh. huh? Eddie with the mix up starting to utilize it. Oh, he gets kicked in the face. Here's your trouble. Oh, he was a combo. He goes it out here. Alright, puts the brakes on. I like that bait. Oh, he went for the drive that time. Wow, the range. I wonder if he did a weave or something into it. But here we go. Run of black. Could go up 2 to 0 now. 75 2 round lead disappearing. Not if 75 has anything to say. Oh, what a duck. That is a good way to get under the flick pressure. To the low. Go for things that crush. Running three. Keeping him at the wall. Oh, power crush? Get the money. Good jab, big truck. Well, not only can he get a jab, he could probably get a back one in between. He's going to have to be very careful on how he's utilizing that. He's got to use Sonic Fang for the funny thing. Oh, my gosh. Beat down. Goes for the rocket launcher. Keeping him at the wall here. Fully charged. Defense, 5 Lost the wall bounce here. Top of the wave. Very close. Oh, he Stop caught him out of it. Let's go. 7 to 5 on the board. Now all, We're tied, all tied up. up. One apiece. Uh, come on, Runner Black. Don't make me look bad here. <laughs> Don't make no, me look man. bad. Now, no, I wasn't going to cheer in this matchup. I wasn't going to cheer in this matchup, but you brought it out of me. The 1%, it's uh, starting to look a little bit smaller. You know? Starting to look a little bit smaller. That's how you know Man. it's good. Bronson talked all that shit, but he's not even in the chat to cheer on his whole team. <laughs> he's like, and he's got he's it. He's like, I don't even need it. to watch. I don't even oh, need man. to see this. Oh, my gosh. Damn, so Red and Black losing with Pokemon early. I thought he was going to get a couple more games in, honestly, uh, before Andy got on the board. But Andy adapted very quickly there. You know, he really pulled back. I think the, the first game, he was a little bit too aggressive. Second game, we saw a lot more patience out of him. And Steve Fox, once he has the life lead and once he's patient with it, it's so hard to get in and break it down, right? Oh, yeah. So, and, you know, he's uh, one of those players with Steve where he doesn't really leave himself too open. He, he he has an understanding of his stance, his transitions, and his spacing. And I think that was evidenced by his use of, you know, counter hit back one, uh, flicker back two, and just overall just using the stance in general just to kind of uh, outspace his opponent. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, another thing about Andy's play style, or just Steve in general, you know, if you have the life lead on Steve Fox, it's very hard for Steve Fox to bring that life lead back, right? We talked about this yesterday. You know, he doesn't have the best lows. His lows, his low pokes like down two don't do a lot of damage. The Albatross down two or the down back two, they're a little bit slower. Yep. Uh, the and he doesn't have the right best launchers face. either. He definitely doesn't have the, the quickest launchers, I should say. I should say. Exactly. So, you know, as long as you get the early life lead against them, but <gasps> look at this! Man. Uh-oh. We You're have on the change. side of evil, Mark. You're on the side of evil. Fakamam and now Leroy for running black. 75 sticking it out with Steve Fox. He hey man, somebody's have to. Someone has to do it. Somebody has to do it. These characters are there for a reason, and uh, Run It Black is definitely running it back to the dark side. Here we go, Leroy versus Steve. We're no parry to start it off. Get out of here. Oh, we got combos. No, 725. Damn. <laughs> um, we, we got, got some. That, that, that was not optimal, right? That was a good parry though. You know, he waited for the one one two all three hits before doing the follow up. Yep. Nice and done by Run It Black there. Runner Black's gonna have to be, care be very careful here because if he's going for those parries and he tries to transition, Steve has a few tricks, especially with the built in low, that can kind of beat out a lot of the options here. He might get launched for it, so he's gonna have to be careful. I'm sure 725 knows a lot of the tricks that Steve has. Oh, punish. Tiny punish. I'm sorry, he doesn't get the wall spat. Down back, future's gonna connect though. No beat down. Get down off him. the wall. Oh, oh my god, he baited him! <laughs> he baited him big time for that rage art. B -b -b baited! Boom! <laughs> Seven, two, five. Nice rage art. Round two. Oh my god. It's the first round and the lead now. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, Red Black really wasn't ready for that. <laughs> 
Nice. He's gonna push towards the wall again. Oh, goes for the running too, but no punish there from running black. Man, 725 is looking really strong here in the second round. He does have rage. Goes for the rage drive again. Oh, it's getting hot in her. Keeping the pressure. Oh my god. That's a rookie mistake. You don't do that on a veteran. Who do you think taught Bronson how to do that, man? It's 725. Oh, again. Jeez, this is looking really good for, for 725 right now. Look at him. He's got the life. He's like, come in. I'm like, Red Black is struggling. Like, what, what is he going to do to get in on his opponent? That's the question here. Yeah, run into his back one. Come on. Does he really think he's going to out counter hit uh, Steve here? That sawed off shotgun's not going to have the range that he needs. Oh my god. Okay, mix up. Goes to the 4 4. No. Oh, oh I, thought he was, I, I thought he was going to launch for something. Now what? Oh, and that's big, but he's not going to get a full combo. No! Can you punch right? Oh, he's trying to punch Barry twice in a row. Twice in a row. Oh, he really wanted to make a statement there, but the greed, the greed there from Old Man Seven Two Five, Running Black might have a chance here now. Bronson must be laughing his ass off watching this dude. Dude, the way we saw him end the video where he just laughed at exactly what he's doing right now. All right, Running Black, come on, bring it back here. Nice block. I think the down will push down. Trying to create some pressure of his own, but a great whip punish there. Nice use of the back three. Uh oh, he has the wall. Boom, boom. Straight for the wall carry. Ready going down for 75. Gets caught going forward three, and now we're going to final round to take the lead back in the set. That's pretty tight so far for both for both these players. A decisive round for the lead here in the series. Oh, one, one, two, buddy. Straying away from the orbital. You know, he has, he probably has impeccable orbital defense, I would say. He fights against Jimmy J. Tran, who never uses the orbital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this orbital's a little better. The cane! Okay, the combo oh, follow-up okay. here, down 3-2. Gets the screw. Now pushing towards the wall. Not gonna get the wall, though, but he does have the tracking low. Uh oh, Counter that was big. Dedicate? That hurt. Gosh. Rage mode now for Leroy. The 75 oh, oh, my God! Got punched in the mouth. Did anyone see where his mouthpiece went? Guys, judges, did anyone, anyone see? see where his face went? Good lord. Why was he whiffing up forward three plus four from that range? I don't know. That was an interesting uh, strategy to, for the end of a round situation. Up forward three plus four from half a screen away. Hey, uh, uh, 725 having a lead now. He this. does. What is it, 3 1? 2 1. 2 1. 2 1. I see, that was that, that punch was that long. Hard hitting, I thought it was 3-1. He counted as two games. That's what it should have counted. I mean, he tried to, to style on him, though, two rounds before. That was a double punch, Barry. Yeah, he, did, he waved at him. He waved at him twice. He was like, <laughs> like punch me. Punch me. Nope, not going to punch. White black, nicely done there. But, you know, the Leroy doesn't work out. It was close, though. Very close. I think uh, I'm going to use a lifeline here, Rip. Uh -huh. And I, I think I want you to ask the chat what they think about the matchup so far. Ask him to press some numbers. All right, chat. With the way things are going so far, give me a one. If you like 725, give me a zero if you like run it black. <laughs> zero? Not even a two? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can contribute here. Everyone, oh, we see some ones. I see I a see lot of ones. One. I oh see one God. zero. I saw one zero. I'm going to put a zero in too. I can't leave my boy hanging. <laughs> I put a zero in as well. All right. Oh, man. You guys all believe in 725, huh? Damn. All right, That's all right. Lot. We'll check in with you later. Let's <laughs> see how this one proceeds. Run it black now, switching over to his main character, the regular Jin. Now this is, I think, where it's gonna get interesting. Cause you know, I still feel like 725 has a lot of confidence in this particular matchup. He's always had confidence against Mishimas and Mishima style characters. But you know, obviously Jin being more of a hybrid Round Mishima, one. but still susceptible to a lot of the weaknesses that Mishimas have. And uh, probably more so with uh, the way that Andy plays. So we'll see how this works out. Yeah, also, Running Black does not like the Steve matchup. No one does. This is a, traditionally a, a very tough match for Jin. Oop, big counter hit. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> I forgot that uh, Andy trained against Book, who is probably one of the best Jin players in the world as well. Oh, yeah. I'm running back Jin, no slouch, though. Yeah, no slouch unless he starts losing. I feel like it's a little out of practice. I think he spent a lot of time with the off-season, Jin. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, but things are working out here. He caught him ducking. 
should be able to get the wall here. Savage Sword. No, one, two, three into the down four. Closing it out. Run it black, taking that round. And he throws out the taunt. Fight. Okay. You gotta watch the rhythm here. You gotta you have to definitely watch the rhythm at the way Andy's playing. You'll notice the, the mini flicker back dashes in conjunction with his flicker jabs and his back one. It's really designed to keep running black away. And then open him up for things like that. Yeah, that flicker back is killing him. And he's so good at using it. There's not a lot of team players using him that way. So a lot of opponents aren't ready to keep boxing. Like getting in that range and slowly back into flicker back there just to get the work funny. Oh, nice break on the complicated wire. It looks like he went for the one grab there. But running black Round able three. to take it here two rounds straight now. This is looking a lot better going back. Here comes the low parry from 725. Oh, he misses the combo. Well, was it a bait? <laughs> maybe it was a bait. The good old reset. Still trying to keep him there. Again, Albatross 2 to continue the pressure. Reset to maybe the neutral. Lean back, that's to get the run of black. Face it out. Wow, this time goes to the mid. Starting to keep in step three. The follow up here as the Savage Sword at the wall. Into the throw. Looking to close it out. One more hit could do it. Oh, he Not missed. over. Damn, he tried again. Straight back to back. He's not happening this time. Three rounds straight. No round browning. Run black. Ties it up. Two apiece. I don't know. I feel like that changes everything. And you know, because because he hit two, do you think that's why he changed to Jin? Because he called it out 7-2, right? Oh, you're right. Is that why he went serious to his main character? He wanted Damn. to live up to his own prophecy as well? What, what's his what's his prophet name? <laughs> we're not going to give him one. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Dumbass. We're, we're, we're still going to call him Rib. <laughs> we're still going to call him Rib. All right. Well, what a black tie it up. Two apiece. Uh, this is a first to seven chat. If you guys are just tuning in with us here, this is the Tekken Online Challenge West pre event. We're going to have more of these events around the world. Make sure you guys check out the schedule at TekkenWorldTour.com. Uh, of course, there's going to be exhibitions and open tournaments across the world. So, a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, of course, lots of love to everybody that's, you know, entered yesterday's tournament as well. We had uh, about 100 people that entered our champion uh, coming out of the tournament with Speed Kicks, and then he had a nice set with our final boss, Weekend. And, of course, Weekend also playing in today's exhibition uh, where he ended up winning against Peeling, and then we had another match with Anakin and Pochop. Anakin ended up winning that 5-0, to zero, and now we are in our final match. Of course, to our sponsors, Astro Gaming, and everyone over at Bandai Namco Entertainment from the eSports side. And of course, Nintendo on the production side. We thank you guys for you know being part of the event and also all the Tekken fans that are out there. We still see you in the chat. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of this matchup. We are going back in the, and you know what? Surprise, he is not switching from Steve, but I don't think we will see a switch from Steve throughout the entire set. Yeah, I don't think we will either, but you never know. You know, if it's getting real ugly, maybe he'll have to switch characters. But we'll see. One more to Syria for the next one. This is to take the lead in the set. Long set, of course, first to seven here. This is Round the tiebreaker right now. Early tiebreaker. Fight. Face it out. Immediately. And run it back. Oh, sorry, I should say. 725 really looks like he's having issues with his gin magic, right? Forward fours have caused a lot of trouble. He hasn't really dealt with it. You don't really see him sidestepping away from it. Punishing from his red black is fantastic. So he trains with Abum down San Diego. He's played a lot of MRK. So he has tons of speed in his Even from speed kicks. <laughs> Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nice. Oh, he went for the, looks like a throw break there. Oh, and he cut on up. Threading the needle there with that hook fist. He's looking to close it out. He is going to get it here. Savage Axe to end it. Round two. Fight. Man, when it black is turning it up right now. Oh, he, he, he was already full strength. He always seems to get hit by that. It's not, it's not the first time in the set that he's gotten hit by the full strength. And look at the life lead, just out of nowhere, Andy with a huge life lead here, look, working on a perfect. No duck. Yeah, Andy's playing very linear here, right? Like, you don't see the side step. So the fourth floor is just becoming a bigger, bigger problem. I wouldn't count him out, maybe he's saving it for later. Maybe he's trying to do the long play where he's baiting him to make more use of that in a taunt. Really? The taunt? The taunt is tight. I love that taunt. It's one of my favorite taunts in the game. Woo! That, I mean, that might as well be a taunt. That was a huge back one counter hit. Oh, he doesn't get the combo. He was going for it. A little bit too low on the wall there. There we go. Nice hit there from Under Black. Keeping him at the wall. Nice again with the health sweep. Goes for the demon corpse for us. Not able to get anything. <gasps> That's going to whiff. It's low, though. That's going to whiff. Oh my nice. gosh. The right read, but the wrong move to do it against. Under Black tried his rage guard, which is high, though. Speed Fox is also high. 
going to happen. Nice two. Tries to keep him there, but again, Runner Black making great use of his lows to kind of beat out and crush what 725 is going for. Woo! That was sexy. Let him whip the power strike, punch the electric, and the wall carry good. Hella damages. All right, no perfect here, and way behind though, running to even close out. Final round again to take the lead now. Uh oh. Fight. See, this is going to be a big one because they're going to pull away to the lead. Not just that, but it's going to break a prophecy or two. <laughs> uh huh. Follow up here. Nice patience here from 725. Uh oh. Nice. Albatross just kind of painting him out to go for a move there. I'm waiting for the flicker back, too. Not going to happen. And look at this. Again, running black making great use of that down four. Time and again. Run back is chipping with something. We talked about 75 or two pots trying to make a comeback. So difficult to counter it forward for all day. Oh, that was all big. Day. He gets the wall here. It's not going to kill, is it? Oh, it does. Elegant to kill. This guy, regular Jin. He's pretty strong still. You know, he doesn't always get a combo after forward four, but it's counter hitting a lot anyway. You know, you don't see 75 trying to step in, uh, especially the electrics around it too. So, man, what are you going to do? What's he going to do here? I don't know. I mean, it's tough. I mean, the way both of them are playing, it's, you know, back and forth. And he's His ability to get the counter hits are there. He's still playing the right way. But the thing is, he's not sidestepping. He is right. not taking advantage of the linearity for a lot of the things that Running Black is going for. He's going for things like down four to beat out his jab strings, to beat out his flicker jabs. But if he's able to sidestep that, he could probably convert it into a lot of damage. I agree completely. Uh, I just yeah, got the forward four. The forward four really came into play there and the range of the electric wind hook fist. So... Uh, either way, uh, I think we still have quite the battle to see, and you know, it's still early. We're not even close to seven yet. No, not even close. This has been very back and forth throughout, of course. You know, since Run of Black has switched to Jin, it's all win so far, right? So, this is kind of the turning point now. So, if, if I think Andy has at least one more game with Steve Fox, you know, to stick with and see if he can figure stuff out. But if he loses another one, three in a row, I don't know if he sticks with it after that. You know, maybe four in a row? I don't know. I, I, have, I, have, I have faith that he's going to change it up uh, gameplay-wise. I have faith that we're going to see uh, something a bit different. I mean, Andy has always found a way to at least kind of break down his opponent over time. And I think that's think? a... Yeah, I do think so. No, sorry. I was going to say, do you think Bronson is hitting up Andy and telling like... like is he on the phone on the with him right now? Do you think dude. That, that is in the realm of possibility? The, I'll tell you one thing about the old guys. They're resourceful. I'll mm. tell you that. Bronson is at his place right now. <laughs> Round with one. the baby. Yeah, what happens if he starts picking Julia? Then I'll hella be suspect. <laughs> so that would be tight. Julia now. <laughs> well, I didn't know Andy uses Julia at all. He just won oh, 16 good. straight. Well, aren't we oh, going up to seven? Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see how this is gonna play out. Nice, making again use of the albatross now too. Still, you know, still trying to keep him in that trap with the flicker jab. Oh man, just underneath Lancaster combo. Oh man, I've got that name. That's a tight name. He has a, a lot of interesting moves. It's, it's, it's crazy because, you know, we had Tekken Tim from Lancaster. And yeah, exactly. Fox player. We're like, that for Tekken Tim? Like, what the hell? He had a weird notation for that move before. It was like four back, one, one, two, one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Gets the beat down punch to follow up here. Looking I'm really down. good. What are you going to do, though? He's got a block. 13 seconds. Yeah. What the? Oh, he's looking to close risky. it out. He's got no rage, it's over. This round's done. 725 gonna get it. Taun, taun, taun. Yeah. Round two. Fight. Four, staying alive here. Nice counter hit set up there with the shoulder check into the launch. And he's gonna get the wall. No, he's gonna go for the mix up. Normal throw. Don't get off. Nice. Look at the way he's breaking him down offensively, keeping the pressure by the wall, using the mix of both. Uh, Peekaboo and also Flicker. Now I'm starting to run away again. Double Albatross is coming out. Albatross down two is coming out. Running back is just watching these Albatross games. Oh man. He's lucky this isn't 5.0. Right? And that's the thing. A lot of speed players don't really use Albatross much anymore, I feel like. No, especially the second one. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. A perfect, perfect. from 725. This is looking really nice for me right now. He does have the two round lead. Looking to tie it up here against Running Black. Ooh, low what a low carry. Dude, the way this is back and forth, it almost makes me feel like 75 is playing with his food. Oh, no way. You think he's going to do it to the young guy? Like I that? It's, see, it feels like it doesn't. Look how dominant this game is compared to the last one. Oh, he was out of range. He could have he lit him up there. 
Uh oh, uh oh. Got caught trying to duck jab. Yes, having another opportunity. He goes for the shoulder check again, has a good chip. Right through the parry, the low, and look at that three round straight for 725. Rip, you, I feel like you were doubting 725 that last round. I was. I, I but definitely Bronson was. called him. Bronson definitely called him. He said, hey, just hit him. Dude. Bronson in the chat said, Telegram received. <laughs> <laughs> These old people in their communication style. Is that allowed? <laughs> is that is that is that is that NorCal tactics? Is that allowed? Do I need to do I need to get my phone and message uh, run it black? You, you you're gonna have to do something because right now it's tied up. It's None of my three. advice would help him out. Look, run it None black. He's obviously not a profit because he said it was gonna be seven two, and he's got three already. No one's ending with a two at this point. Well, either way, there is that other seven four uh, score that was called out, and that was called out by seven two five. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's building himself some padding, but we didn't say either way which way which way it was going. I, th I feel like he said it the wrong way, but maybe that was just to cause drama or stir drama. Who knows? It so he has two chances of being right. That's why. Yes. So later on he'd be like, oh, one I of the, that one. one. One of the things about seven two five though, he's always taken an interest in uh, this skill called luck. Manipulating luck has always been on his side. Hmm. So who knows? Maybe it's just his lucky day. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. You know, Runner Black hit zero counter hit forward fours in that game. Uh, so defensively, I think 75 is starting to adjust to it. We still didn't see him try to size the forward four at all. You know, he's just trying to play defensively. I guess he's, he's being more patient, not getting counter hit by them at least, if he does get hit by them. So let's see what Runner Black's going to adapt to here. It, it could be the long play. I mean, you got to think about it too. You want to put your opponent into a comfort zone, which is not really a comfort zone. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it's something that you can take advantage of uh, towards the end. And it's by then you're like, oh my gosh, he baited me into doing this the whole time. The whole time. Well, we are all tied up three apiece. This is a first to seven. Seven to five versus Runner Black. You guys are just joining us. It's our final set here on the Tekken Online yes, Challenge US West pre event. Armbar takedown. Low parry. What a flag. First time with this game on the hammerhead stage. Doesn't nice quite meet the wall. Oh, nice low parry. Keeps him at the wall, though. Not too much damage. Complicated wire throw. That's a one break. Damn, yeah, no. oh, two. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, he went for the beatdown punch. He wanted to make a statement there, maybe catch him ducking. You know, that's one of the rare instances that we see 725 actually go for a launcher as well. He doesn't do it too often. That drop in the combo had the low parry though. Continuing with the pressure onward. Probably could have jabbed in between that string. Not able to do it. Right, a miss whip. Oh, he wasn't ready. Second hit. Yeah, second hits have been casting uh, Run Black a lot. Second hits or just end of strings in general. All I feel like here, though, yeah. it's probably not what he's used to. It's unorthodox. Oh, yeah. Again, Ooh, throws. The throws are starting to prove to be effective here in the Round matchup. Three. Run it black looking to take the lead Fun. once again. But seven Called him out on it too, right? In the interview, he said, like, you know, he can't break throws. Yeah. And now you see him throwing them. Definitely said it. I think that's a, a, a missed over, by the way. I definitely think 7 to 5 can break throws. He just has to focus. And he's keeping him at the wall. Almost Rash at the wall splat there. Oh, there's the flicker back too. We haven't seen that a few games. Flash duck goes for it. Goes for the power crush again there. The string that he was talking about earlier, this time getting hit by it. Uh oh. Oh, what a oh, block. God. He blocked the first. Oh, no, my, God. my God. Man, 725. He bet it crazy. all. He bet it all. That was definitely kind of wild there. This um, set is crazy, dude. 3 0 one way, 3 0 the other way, 3 0 back this way. Man, Runner Black taking the lead 4 to 3. Uh, that is uh, something else. Yeah, that definitely not the dude. fastest move in his arsenal, but he's still uh, threw it out there, right? Oh yeah, he's he's playing real loose right now. Seven to five is. Yeah, this time it was the up four three. Maybe next time we up four three again. Maybe the up four four. Who knows? But right. of course, things right now in Red Black's favor. And four to right three. now, you know, it's four. He needs three more games to close out the set. I, I'm I'm just really curious if we're ever gonna see Andy switch characters. That's really what's on my mind. Like, is he actually gonna do it? Because I've never seen him use another character in a tournament or any kind of competitive format. I would say, you, you, you know what? I've only seen him switch a few times in, in older Tekken games, but not in, 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 in this series or not in the in the series prior. I mean, obviously in Tag 2, he had to have another character, right? It's just, you need one, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Who was his other character in Tag 2? I think it was Lei. What? I think it was Lei. He's, he's an OG Lei player. I did not know that. Yeah, he's an OG Lei player. Okay, 725 to Lei player. Hmm. Uh, I don't think he's going to pick Lei in Tekken 7, though. Definitely know? not. Definitely not. <laughs> Oh man, I think 
I mean, look, he, I know he has a little bit of a Leroy, right? And against Jin, Leroy is actually pretty decent, right? Because a lot of strings that you see, and Leroy has the ability to carry in between it. We'll see if he decides to ever go down that path. But right now, sticking it out to his main, Stephen Fox. Devil's Pit coming up next. Oh, okay. Let's see how this one works out. Of course, he is at the disadvantage right now. 725 is running black, trying to run away with it. But again, it's been going back and forth Round this entire four. time. So that's why the close or the stage or the score is as close as it is four to three. But I would not be surprised. I would not put it against 725 to get another three rounds. Seriously. Look at that. Second hit again. Catching running black. And Andy off the early lead. Half life. You don't see a lot of back ones out here from Andy. No, it's like he's trying to pick his shots here. This time making great use of the peak blue attacks again. I mean, he's, he, he has a life lead, which is amazing. Oh my god, lights out, good night. I'm like, damn, where the black block the power push? Maybe he can attack. <laughs> Never mind. He is taunting in between every single round that he quits. It's because Run of Black started with Pokemon right at the beginning. Yeah, right at the start from the get go. He taunted every round. Nice, right, gets a quick uh, follow up hit after the down back four counter hit. See if Run of Black is able to keep that pressure at the wall because this is a great position for him. Oh, flicker back too. This time the Demon Paw to counteract and the Hell Sweep. Is he going to do anything else? Yeah, we're working out, running two, and the beat Oh down. my gosh, he tried to... Gosh, this is so scary. Ten count, important break. Oh, he, he was out of range! It. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Oh, he actually oh, went there, no but he missed again. the follow-up as well. Bro! There's no time left, no. the Albatross two. Down to one, seven, two, Round five. Three. After a sequence of mistakes from both players. Get the route. But now, no walls here, so it is not going to restrict, restrict movement at all. It can go either way. But look at this huge damage early on here from Run and Black. Is he going to continue with the, the onslaught? Oh, oh yeah. man, again. It, it, it's really showed. And I'm starting to think here. Um, and he's, uh, I guess, his perseverance and his ability to not sidestep those certain attacks. It's really starting to take its toll now. Oh my Look gosh, he is flowing on him again, though. It's so crazy uh, how this is such a back and forth set right now. Red and black, though. Try, I think he can still close out this game and take a 5-3 to three lead here. If he doesn't, though, it's going to be tied to 4 apiece. Yeah. 4 apiece. And then from there on out, it's just going to be a quick race to 3. Nice electric. Nice conversion here. Let's see if he's able to close it out. Clean his plate, goes for the Demon Corpse Thrust. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. the wind button! Double Rage! The got him, he up. got him! Final round, Final round game eight. Low oh my parry. gosh, he was ready, locked and loaded. Here comes 725, is he gonna go for a mix-up? No, he tried to get some extra damage there, thought he was gonna stay on the floor. And that's the thing, you gotta watch out. Those Albatross moves are coming out. They look so slow the way that they're winding up, but he is a master at using those moves. Yeah, you do have time to expect him to hit some other ones. You didn't see him spinning like, oh, I should have taken my turn, but now it's not my turn anymore. Okay. Getting yeah, that back would almost counter hit. Yeah, he did, still did a lot of damage regardless on normal hit. Yeah, what about just out of rage right now? The oh. electric connects. This is big, big opportunity because on wake up here, it could spell doom. Good block. Oh, he got him. Dude. He missed the combo. the combo. He missed it. LLRK is coming. 12 seconds to go. Feel it. You got to watch out for the drive. LLRK. Is that enough? Not over no. five seconds. Like he, he, stepped he stepped on him. He stepped on him. Seven to five, roll backwards, face up, feet away. Oh, boy. That was an interesting choice. Doesn't get it. And Run of Black brings it all the way back to take the lead five to three there. Yeah, oh, he has boy. the lead. And he has, I would say, I, I don't know if I'm going to call it a comfortable lead, but he has the lead regardless. This is probably the biggest lead that we've seen since early on where it was 2-0, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Definitely. either way, either way, I don't know. It's going to be tough. 725 is really going to have to start changing things up. I think those things that we called out early on where he's not trying to sidestep, he's not trying to sidewalk, he's not trying to even sway to beat out certain of the linear moves that Jin is throwing out. That is right. obviously catching up to him. Yeah, it's, it's definitely hurting him here. But at the same time, I feel like he's just got a timing game that he's playing, right? He's, he's learning when the timing is for the back ones, when his timing is for the flicker backs, if he can get the power crush. 
Uh, so I think he's he's figuring out the time of running back in general. Yeah. But he only has a few more games yet, right? I mean, it's not over yet. But running back only needs two more, and it's done. So the question now is, does he have enough data, and can he win the next game? Because if he doesn't win the next game, he's in big trouble. Yeah, and that's the thing. Right now, run it black. Obviously, I'm sure he wants to close it out. He does not want to have this go into extended sets. I feel like the longer that this... Okay, so I don't know how you feel about it, but I think the longer that these matches go on, the deeper mm -hmm. we get into the set, the more it favors 725. I don't know. I have no idea. It's so back and forth that it should be what you just described. That yeah. 725 should have the advantage in the longer set. But the way these guys have been playing, like dropping combos at the moment when they're about to win and stuff, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, and that was clutch because we saw the back two hit there from 725. He was looking to close out the combo. Unfortunately, did not land it. And I think yeah. that could have been it right there. But we are going to the Twilight Conflict. Round one. Fun. All right. Wow. Yeah, this goes five to three in favor of Running Black. 725 on the offensive right now. Running Black's going to have to figure out ways to be able to get in and kind of put a stop to this uh, high octane offense. Oh, goes with the sway that time. I like it. I mean, even if it's just a check, you don't go. You don't even have to commit to the big launcher. You don't have to go for a skyscraper. Okay, nice. Gets a quick damage combo there from the counter hit down forward two. That's another move we really haven't seen from seven two five either. Is the attempt for down forward two counter hit? Or down forward two sway or duck? Doesn't go the balcony, but keep the wall. Oh, is that gonna hit? It's hella gonna hit. I don't know if you could have duck after after that, but man. This is gonna hurt! Oh my god, is it gonna hurt? Yeah, he He's definitely dead. took his he took his head off with that one. And that's gotta have to I mean that's gonna have to leave a mark for sure. Because you know he can't get too careless now towards the end of the round. It's gonna make him hesitate. Alright, the rush here. It's gonna happen. Ooh, he, he just went in there, gets the grab. Follow here. What's he gonna do on wake up? Work now, right now. Counter hit back one for seven two five. Wow, what did two for Oki into the beatdown punch? He's got a big lead now. Oh, the down one's gonna go underneath here. Punish. Oh, he should have walked into one two. He would have killed him. No way. What's gonna happen here? Don't tell me he's gonna throw this away. Dude, he might. L L R K. Oh, but the wall's gonna mess him up. Damn. He got hella lucky. He got right, super lucky. Focus in, man. But again, Andy is a lucky guy. Luck is skill right. for him. Luck is skill. Okay. Keeping that uh, composure. Again, dealing a lot with that 4-4. One in black and really starting to utilize it in the matchup here. And Andy seems kind of back one after 4-4. But one in black thought he was hitting the button. Not even going for it. Again, another grab here. Which he calls his weakness. Let's see what happens. Nice clean round there from Run Black. Run Black looking to go up here. Six to three. And if he can win this single round here, he'll be able to do so. L O R K. Run at Black to the wall now. Pressure. Got him to do a get up kick. Wall bail combo. Reese flat. Hella damage. 75's in trouble. Right, keeping him at the wall here. Let's see what he goes for. Goes for the Albatross. Back to one. Able to stuff whatever offense he was trying to throw out there. Run it black now up six to three. And he is now in a position where he can win the entire set with one more game. Yeah, it's really not been good for 75 since the Jin came out. Yeah, I think 75 has gotten one game, right? Just one game against the Jin. And then I think Run it black has gotten four games with the Jin. Yeah. So it's like a four to one score with this character matchup so far. And the way things are going, I don't know if any character switch is going to help Andy here. You know, I feel like Run Black just has the timing on him. And, you know, the defense, he knows what he needs to do to break down 75 defense. He's not falling for the power crush. He's not falling for the back ones. Uh, it's, it's a very uphill battle here for 725. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to consider here. He has he can't lose any more games. It's over if he does. So he's going to have to play at his best. If he's going to go for these adjustments that we were hoping to see, now is the time. Now is yeah. definitely going to be the time. And I don't think that Run to Black, even if he loses one match here or there, I don't think he's going to switch away from Jit. No, I mean, knowing Run of Black, you never know. Like, he, if he loses one game, he might be like, all right, I'm going to close this out with uh, Martial Law. You know, like, I don't know. He's, he's crazy sometimes. I feel like he, he can, can be. It. He can be. But again, this is a set not only for Pride. They are trying to, you know, make a statement here. Is it going to be SD or is it going to be NorCal? Damn, right now it's looking all San Diego. NorCal going to go down with two losses today. 
to SoCal and to San Diego. Damn. Beat him to the Wolves. Anyways, we're going to go into the matchup again. 7-2-5, sticking with Steve, much like we expected. And again, trying to catch up right now. It is 6-3 in favor of young Run It Black. Run It Black looking to take the set here. It's a race to seven. So again, if you guys are tuning in, you are watching the tail end of the Tekken Online Challenge Series. We are on Exhibition Day. My name is Markman, and I'm here with Rip, and we're here to call the action. Yeah, I believe we got an error on this connection screen, so we're going to have to reset the match probably. But we are winding down here. If you guys missed the action earlier, we had Sukin versus Peeling. It was a cool match. You had Sukin with his leg, Peeling with his Ling Xiaoyu. Uh, very fun match to watch throughout. You know, Peeling, just one little mistake, trying to go with his uh, lay in the mirror match. You know, he did it for the people watching, but it didn't quite work out, right? But Sukin, man. He has had one hell of a weekend to say the least. I was going to say, like, who, who's your MVP for this weekend, whether it's the online tournament, whether it's the exhibitions? What has really impressed you from what we've seen so far? Yeah, I mean, I think the two of them to me are, number one, speed kicks, uh, because, you know, going through an entire tournament, over 100 people in it, he yeah. had a 17-game win streak with his Huarong to end the tournament, you know? Yeah. His Huarong didn't lose to anybody. It was ridiculous. Like, just non-stop games like that's crazy and against people like bin chang especially right uh who's using characters like lero and Fakram and speak is still shutting them all down right yeah, so that completely. was a, a lot of fun to watch i think speak did great there but then you know on top of that after that you know the uh the final boss challenge comes out sukin shows up and you you're thinking like man speak is unstoppable right now 17 game win streak and sukin's the final boss this guy and he shut everyone up. It was amazing. Oh, you guys yeah. didn't watch that set. You need to go watch that set again. I uh, actually saved the clip, and I have the screenshot of everyone in the chat that was saying <laughs> that it was going to be completely free for speed kicks. So mm -hmm. I have that locked and loaded. I, I, I was thinking about tweeting it, but I ended up not doing it. But afterwards, we definitely had to call that out that, hey, all you guys that doubted the old manpower, surprise, surprise, look at this. Yeah. That was that was very impressive stuff. Uh, and then, of course, you know, Sukin, he had that run last night there. Uh, but that was just like a first to three set, right? It was like, okay, you got one cool set in. Yeah. Uh, but then today to come back against Peeling, he calls out what the score is going to be. He says it's going to be five to two. Peeling's probably going to get the first couple of games, and then I'll, or five to three, you know, Peeling get the first couple, and then I'll close it out, whatever. And that's exactly how it went, right? Peeling wins the first couple. Sukin brings it back, ends it five to three, just like he said he would. And uh, it was just impressive, man. So shout out to Sukin for the entire weekend. You know, Anakin earlier went up against Poke Chop. That was a fun set to watch. You know, Anakin brought out his Paul Phoenix, which is a character I've wanted to see him compete with for a long time. Poke Chop tried out the Fakum Rom and the Negan. Couldn't get it done. Anakin, big 5-0. Uh, you know, hard to call it, you know, an upset or anything, right? But, like, even the score at that point, it's just Anakin has been so unstoppable uh, for the last few years, it seems. So, you know, shout out to Poke Chop, but, you know, back to the drawing board for now. Definitely, definitely. Uh, as we wait for the matchup to happen, of course, we got to definitely talk about um, how this kind of shaped up. You know, originally, Bronson Chan was supposed to be playing against Run and Black. Obviously, unable to make the matchup, but 725 stepping up to the plate to kind of represent NorCal in the old school and the old garden. You know, he started off with a bang. We saw the matches as they got in. We were at a point tied at three apiece. But then, of course, Run and Black starting to pull away once he made the switch to normal Jin, kind of finding his footing. And now he's in a position where he's up six to three. Yeah, it's been a great adaptation by the Switcher's main, finally. You know, he tried at the Fakum Rom first, 75 shut it down. He tried at the Leroy, 75 shut it down. Finally, the regular Jin has been putting in all the work. 4-1 to one to the score between those two characters. But the overall score in set 6-3, Run of Black just needs one last game. Uh, and, you know, I wonder if he's going to try to close it out in style, you know? What does in style mean? I got. I guess I got to ask you. I don't know, maybe a key chart set up, you know, something fancy. Uh, you know, Run of Black is not really that kind of a player, right? His, his idea of style is just key charging after the round's over. So you're saying he's so, not know. stylish? I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, we'll, I have to give it a. We'll have to see once we get there. We're obviously not there yet, but I, I'd like to believe in seven two five. You know, even though I have to cheer for Run and Black, mm -hmm. I I believe that seven two five is going to make it a bit more interesting as we go into this match or this follow up match. No, definitely. I I, know we, I hope he does make it uh, a little bit closer, right? Because we're we're close right now. If he wins one more game, it's six four, and all of a sudden you never know what's going to happen. Uh, personally, I think it was at Northwest Majors last year where I played 75, not realizing how much better he had gotten. Oh, yeah. uh, we played we played a long set. We did a first 10. I put up level up the game, and he put up Quanba. You know, we were, we were battling. You guys short. are betting companies? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so, I think so, I so he, I didn't, I didn't know he owns uh, level up your game now. Well, That's awesome. He, he, he won the first ten, I think, and I think we did like a first two afterwards, just so I could get level up your game back. And I barely, I barely won. I think I won by Paul or something stupid. 
because I couldn't get it done with Law. But nice. here we go. I like the way you weaseled out of it. But anyways, going into this matchup here, this may be the final match. Red and Black right now up 6-3 to three against 7-2-5. But 7-2-5, obviously, you got to believe in the challenge, right? Hopefully, he'll mm -hmm. be able to turn it back. We'll be able to have a tighter set. But it comes down to this. It's Round all on Red and Black right now. If he's able Fight. to, you know, take the championship, now is the time. Yes, sir. Last chance here for 725. You can have a feel for if you can get some wins racked up, though. Or the black. Isn't that the second six out for Jim? Uh, it looks like it, the one from the ending, right? Mm -hmm. Follow up here. Goes through the big demon stance low. The follow up here. He has a huge life lead. And the demon paw connecting at the very end there. Running black, continuing his lead. Fight. Oh, yeah. Two more rounds now. Keeping him low. 75. A little bit of damage, but nothing out of it. Oh, and that's the move. That's been the difference, and that's, the, I think, the move that really has given 725 so much trouble in conjunction with the electric hook fist. It's a tandem. Buy one, get one. Yeah, it's funny because his tandem is the power push in the back one, but nice low play from Red and Black. He's got range as well. The mix up, he's going to go for mid. He just keeps him on the floor. Oh, he could have continued there. That was countered on the third hit. Oh, he nice, weighs great. He, he tried to go nuts. He tried to launch him. I so mean, is this the style you were talking about? This I think, really jerky I think this style? is his attempt at style. You know? okay, hard reads is a style. I got you. Crown stash one. Oh, this is big. Look at the damage here. Crown, at position for 725. Kazama Fury. He wasn't ready okay. for the last hit. Kazama Fury ends up landing. And look at that. Fight. This is set point. Set point right of black. Oh, look. man. And these tears falling from the sky. Can't believe he's going to go down and run it black like this. Oh, and he gets the splat. The readjustment here for running black. Is he going to get another wall? Yes, he does. Holy ball. Oh, he missed. No. That was all he took. And that will be that run in black over 7 to 5, 7 to 3. Neither of those guys are right about stuff, but close. In their predictions, at least. Impressive stuff, you know. Set. 725 definitely went out guns blazing. He brought it to a very tight set early on. They were tied at 3 3 at one point, but eventually the switch to Jin, Run It Black, was able to take it. He channeled the energy. He he he, he pulled it off. I, I got to give it up to him. I got to give it up to him. And now you have to imagine in your face, Bronson, I want you next. Is that going to happen? Hell Is he going to no. say it? I have to ask him later on. I have to ask him later on. Oh, we'll see. Man. San Diego Tech and takes out NorCal. NorCal today comes out the big losers out of all of this. That's honestly a little bit surprising. I'm waiting for the, the production team to cut off your mic. You don't want I'm to say saying, that. I mean, look, they lost the first set. They lost the last set. If we had a NorCal set in the middle, they probably would have lost that one too. Just the way things went today. You're saying poke chops for NorCal? Is that what you're saying? I'm just, I'm just saying if they were in that matchup, they would have lost that one too. Well, either way, uh, I want to thank everyone that has been tuning in throughout the entire weekend. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed some of this action. We are going to be doing the same formula here with the Tech and Online Challenge in different regions around the world. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that in the near future. Stay tuned, of course, to Bandai Namco Esports on Twitter for all of this information. But again, we are going to set up an interview with these players, going to talk to them about what was going on in their minds as we play through the matches and, of course, what they're doing right now in the Tech and world. The so RIP. After all yes, of these sir. matches that we saw this weekend, any particular matchup that you think was your favorite? I gotta say, I mean, I'm just gonna say it straight up. I think the peeling match and the the Suica match was my favorite so far. I think I, yeah, uh, I, I, I thought I was done after that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the the Sukin versus Speed Kicks match from last night uh, was oh. like the highlight of the whole week. If we that the the Geese Howard stage match where we were you were talking about the walls behind you. You yeah. don't you really don't want to be with your back to that wall on this Geese Howard stage. Speaking runs in there with the unblockable shoulder, the blockable shoulder. You know, Suka drops the floor, sweeps his leg. Instead of doing a combo, jumps over for the tech catch, jab, jab for the wall splat, jumps over again for another tech catch. It's like, oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah, you guys will definitely find that clip. If you guys check Twitter, you guys check this channel's clips, that'll probably be one of the top clips. But yeah, that was uh, quite the moment. If we're looking at the entire weekend, I think that stands out. And I think we both talked about it. We were doing commentary for five hours straight at that point. Mm -hmm. But that one moment really destroyed our, our, our voice boxes after that. We're like, oh, right. I'm done. I'm done. That was too hype for me. Yeah, my voice is still in recovery mode after that set. That was a really fun set to watch. One of the funnest yeah. sets I've watched in, in the months, I feel like. Uh, at least, or at least commentary months. Obviously, we don't get a lot of commentary gigs anymore. But uh, this, right now, the Tekken uh, Online Challenge has been a lot of fun this weekend. 
the exhibition sets that we just had today. Uh, I'm glad that this format's continuing. I thought originally that maybe it was just a pre-event that was going to have the exhibitions, but knowing now that the other events that we're going to have in Asia are also going to have exhibition matches, that sounds like it's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, and I mean, looking at what the matchups are going to be, excited to see, again, just who wins from the tournaments, who wins, who's, who's in the exhibitions even. And uh, I think we're in for a treat just to see a lot of players, maybe that we don't even normally get to see. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious about, you know. Actually, you know what? Guys, use that hashtag at the bottom of the screen, T7 Online Challenge. Uh, sound off and let Ooh. us know which players you want to see in each specific region. Because I yeah, think that'll be very helpful to see what's going to be happening. But I believe we have our interview ready. Rip, are you ready to talk to I'm both ready. 725 and Run It Black? Let's get them in here. All right. Congratulations, first of all, Run It Black, getting it done. Seven to three, I think the score was. So yeah. Yeah, pretty close three. to what you called. You said seven, two. You know, Andy said it was going to be four to seven. And Andy, you know, which way did you think that was going? Was that four, seven supposed to be for Run It Black's win? Uh, it was supposed to be for me, but it didn't <laughs> okay. work out that way. I was off by one <laughs> on uh, It Feels Ribbed. <laughs> yeah, right, you know, right, right. and Run It Black, you know, I'll start with you. You know, was there anything surprising about the match we had with 725? You know, I was personally thinking maybe he was going to bring in a Leroy because I knew he had been dabbling with that character in the past. Uh, or was it everything just as you expected? No. So Andy's been in the stream chats the last couple of weeks. Uh, like in Sukin's stream, your stream, watching me play. So I've been playing Falkorom and Leroy, you know. I was always going to play Jin just to put on the show. But uh, <laughs> so I started off the first two games. That's why I did the 7-2. Because I, I was, as long as Leroy and Falk, you know, they could lose one game. And then I just played Jin the rest of the way out. So things went out almost according to plan. Jin lost one game. Little disappointed myself for that. But it's okay. It's okay. Wow. Uh, I got to say, well, it was an impressive showing from both of these players. Uh, Andy, I got to ask you, what, did you go through some type of particular training just for Run It Black for this? I mean, obviously, I know you've been seeing him playing other characters as well. But uh, what was your confidence level going in to at least these guest characters with Leroy and with Fakuruma and then, of course, his Jin? Um, well, I've been watching the WNF stream, so I've been watching a replay a lot. Um, but it's different when you actually play the batch out. <laughs> I was looking for the, uh, what's it, the Leroy string, that's the 1-1, one, 1-plus-2-1, one, one one, but he didn't do it once, because I was ready for the full crouch down 4 2 launcher for that. I was practicing that a lot. Um, <laughs> I was surprised to use Fokarum, though. I thought it was just going to be Leroy and Jin. <laughs> yeah, Fox cheat, man. He's so good. Until what, Tuesday? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I mean, it's the second set round of nerfs, so we'll see if he gets hit this time. Very so good originally, here. Bronson was supposed to play this matchup, right? Uh, did Bronson give you any advice going into this? I, 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 don't, I don't know if he did or not, but did he give you any advice going into the matchup? He just said, don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Bronson. Perfect advice. <laughs> yeah, Bronson's a bitch. He didn't show up for this. You know, like... What the hell? Like, we should do an encore well, guess... match right now. Bronson's been in the chat the entire time. He could have been playing. I want an encore match. Play maybe him. a new final I boss. Want a new <laughs> final well, boss. well, maybe, but we're not there yet. I mean, this event is done for the day, but I got to ask you then. Run it Black, do you want to play against Bronson Stratton, and what do you think your odds are? What the do you think the score would have been? I was playing Tekken 7 for a short period of time with the play Bronson. I've been playing Tekken Tag 2, okay? I want to play Bronson Tran. He talks all that shit. Talks all about NorCal being better than SoCal. You know, against Bronson, I'll represent SoCal any day of the week, all right? I, I can't swear anymore. I think I used my swears too much already, so yeah, you're no, out. that's it. Don't, do, don't so, do it again. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. But, yeah, I want to play Bronson. I want to redo this. You know, Andy's a great player, but he's not Bronson Tran, all right? I've already beat Jimmy J. Tran online also in the oh, Tekken 7 West Coast qualifier. I've right. already beat all of NorCal, okay? I beat Peeling. I beat Insanity. Uh, who else? I don't even know who else they got. I want Bronson Tran. All right, give me Bronson Tran. This was some, this is bullshit. All right, <laughs> I was contacted to fight Bronson Tran. That's not Bronson Tran right next to me. Okay, <laughs> make it happen. The next qualifier event, make it co-main event, undercard. I don't care. I want Bronson Tran. Don't waste. All my right, time. well, we'll see what we can do. But that is quite the challenge and the, quite the statement here. We'll have to consult uh, the powers that be. But uh, <laughs> before we get into it <laughs> anymore, uh, seven two five. I gotta ask you. What's going on right now with you and Tekken? How are you enjoying the game? Where can people follow you? Where can they watch you? Uh, do you stream or do you play within uh, locals or what? Just let us know what's up. Um, sometimes I stream, um, not stream, play on streams at the WNF tournaments. I haven't lately. It's been pretty busy with work. 
Um, people can follow me on Twitter, uh, 725 spelled out. Um, I think Tekken's uh, in a pretty good state. I mean, Leroy and Fakram are pretty strong, but I'm really excited to see what season four brings out. Well, in the same token, uh, Runner Black, I can see you you want to call out Bronson more, but let's 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 stray away from that. Um, what are you up to now? Um, where can people follow you or, or watch your your action? Uh, yeah, so I, I play Tekken every once in a while still on my channel, Runner Black TK, on Twitch. Um, here and there, like, you can actually see me play more classic Tekkens right now, more often than not. And then uh, follow me at Avery, my name Avery, A V R I E Y underscore Rib on Twitter now. I'm trying to go by Avery instead of Running Black these days, so let's try to try to help me out with that, please. Um, but other than that, Tekken's cool, man. Like, it's still my favorite game series. You know, I haven't played a lot of season four because, of, or season season three, sorry, because of all the there's no tournaments right now, so I haven't really competing. This is the least amount of Tekken I've played in the last seven years since I walked up on Super Arcade back in the day. But uh, you know, still trying to keep keep at it. You know, I love playing. Uh, you can catch me playing too at on Wednesday Night Fights on Level Up Your Game Rich Channel. You know, all the time, it's great to play play with those guys. It's great that they're still doing events here and there just to keep the game a little, you know, in the public's eye. So shout out to them. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, just you know, keep playing Tekken. Updates are coming pretty soon next month. Hopefully, it's the start of fall, September 22nd. It's my birthday. So hopefully, we get the patch season update on my birthday. I'll be playing Tekken all day or something. Damn, you but, have um, a lot to ask. Do you want to play Bronze or do you want the patch early? What do you want? <laughs> dude, I want all of them, okay? I, I right, love nice. Tekken. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to the cops. We'll see what we can do. But uh, I guess that Don't is the end. I, I wanted to thank both of you guys for, of course, coming in. And everyone else, all of our other competitors throughout the entire weekend. Rip, before we go, I got to ask you something as well. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you want to say to the Tekken fans and where can we find you? No, man. Just thank you, everybody, for watching. You know, this has been a really fun weekend for me. Uh, working here at the Tekken Online Challenge. We've got many more of these events coming around the world. Like I said, if you guys have dream matchups that you want to see from specific regions, make sure you use that hashtag, T7OnlineChallenge. Put in your dream matches if you want to see, like, I don't know, me versus JDCR, you know, something from the same region, right, for each of the places that we're going to be doing this. Check out checkandrolltour.com so you guys can see uh, what events we have coming up. And, of course, you guys can catch me at twitch.tv slash levelupyourgame. We have Wednesday Night Fights online there every single week. We've done 21 of them so far, so it's pretty ridiculous, and we're just going to keep going until we stop, basically. So come on through. Cool. On behalf of everyone on the team, then, on behalf of RIP, 725, Run It Black, and myself, Mark Van, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Yeah.